so this is number 23 on the Algebra 1 Chapter 2 review. And this is a rate, time, and distance problem involving two cyclists. And the first thing you need to do is interpret the wording. It says at 9 a.m., or it says 9 o'clock on a Saturday morning, two bicyclists heading in opposite directions pass each other on a bicycle path. Uh, and they continue heading in their opposite directions, one moving faster than the other. And then it tells you that at 10.15, they're a certain distance apart. Now, this problem could have been worded in a different way. It could have just said that they left the same location at 9 a.m. and headed in opposite directions. Um, and that would mean the same thing. Essentially, at 9 o'clock, they cross paths, and they're heading in opposite directions for an hour and 15 minutes. And you're given that they're that total distance of 42.5 kilometers apart at that point. So the rates are not equal. Okay? The northbound cyclist is traveling at a faster rate. The time traveled will be equal. They're both traveling for an hour and 15 minutes. We'll put that in terms of just hours, 1.25 hours. Okay. Because the rates are not equal and their times are, of course, the distances will not be equal. Northbound cyclist is traveling faster, so he will have traveled further. The unknown is the rates, so you need to pick a variable for one or the other. I'll pick R to be the southbound cyclist rate. Because the northbound cyclist is traveling faster, he's R plus 6. Now we could have reversed that and made the northbound cyclist R and the southbound cyclist R minus 6, and it would have worked out the same. At this point, I know that rate times time equals distance, so I need to distribute and multiply across. This gives me R. I'm sorry, this could be 1.25R plus 7.5. That's 6 times 1 and a quarter. Down here, I just get 1.25R. Now, a big mistake here is setting the distances equal to each other, but they haven't traveled equal distances because the northbound cyclist is traveling faster. You don't want to set them equal to each other. This is where you use the 42.5 kilometers number. Their combined distance traveled is 42.5 kilometers. And that's how we get this equation. Once the equation is written, it's just a matter of solving it. So I combine like terms there. Now I'm going to subtract 7.5 from both sides of the equation. And then I want to divide both sides by 2.5. At this point, once you evaluate the variable, you need to make sure you answer the question. The question here is to find the two bicyclist rates. So I found one of them. Uh, the southbound cyclist has a rate of 14 kilometers per hour. The northbound cyclist is 6 kilometers per hour faster than that, making his or her rate 20 kilometers per hour. So the two answers would be 20 kilometers per hour and 14 kilometers per hour. 